everybody that watches Magic TV, my name's Craig. My name's Ryan. And we wanted to wish you a... Very, very Merry Christmas. Absolutely a Merry Christmas. Do you want to sing Merry Christmas to everybody? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good okay, stick stick to, stick to the magic. To you no, you suck. Kid. You suck. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Why did I even start? Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. We just wanted to say thank you for supporting the channel over the last year and a half. We really appreciate it. Every single subscriber that comes onto this channel. Um, it's 12 o'clock on a Saturday, which happens to be Christmas Day, which means that this is when we put up an honest trailer. And we decided to do something a little bit different. So we put together a trailer for the Craig and Ryland Review Show, the flagship show of Magic TV. And we've got our own little trailer, haven't we? Which we're putting up instead of an Honest trailer. The Honest trailers will be back next week. And uh, this is a trailer all about what we plan on doing in 2022, um, what we're planning on doing with the review show, and, and, and why we're not going to accept bad Magic products anymore. What do you reckon, Ryan? Because there's how many terrible magic products are there out there? Yeah, we've had to hammer them, we've had to cut them up. Cut them. Um, what's the other thing? I'm sure we did something else. Well, I smashed the end pad across my knee and threw it on the other side of the room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did that. Break it with your leg. Yeah, break it with my leg. It was a very hard pad. How, was yeah. it? how else was I meant to break it? It was really hard. I tried with my arm, it didn't work. Anyway, <laughs> um, producers of magic that are releasing terrible magic tricks and you know who you are. They, they know who they are. We know who Empath from Empath. Peter Eggie. Yeah, all those people. Um, we're going to be reviewing products next year and we are going to continue to be honest and uh, we're going to continue um, to tell you... That's why it's called you... an honest trailer because we're very honest. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. So we're going to go and uh, celebrate Christmas now. You've got lots of toys to play with and uh, we've got lots of food to eat. Well, have a, you, you hope. We're filming this before Christmas, you hope. Uh, depends if you've been good. You've been good? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sure? I got a card from something to say you've been very brave and good throughout the year. Been brave and good, really? Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. So have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Here's our Honest Trailer, the final Honest Trailer of 2021. And, it's not really um, an honest trailer, it's a Christmas trailer. It's a Christmas trailer. We'll be back again uh, next, uh, this, this coming Wednesday with another review show. And don't forget, there's going to be content going out all over Christmas from Magic TV. Guys, thank you very much. I'm Craig. I'm Ryland. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Let's be honest. 2021 has not been a good year for people worldwide. But... For magicians, 2021 has sucked pretty hard for many reasons, one of which is the amount of terrible, stinking, awful, bad magic products that have hit the community like a virus. And unfortunately, just like a virus, they seem to be getting worse and worse. And you see more of them every single day. They're not going away. They're doubling, they're tripling, they're quadrupling. And soon, magic shops are not going to be able to cope with the amount of bad magic products that are on their shelves. What you're seeing right now across the screen are some of the worst magic products that have come out in 2021. These things suck, and they suck badly. They are terrible, and the trailers are dishonest. They make the trick look like it can be performed in places that it can't be performed. They make it look like you're getting something that you're actually not, or in certain scenarios, generally a Peter Egging product, the trailer will just out and out lie. You know, that might be getting your children to react to a trick that they already know what it is. That might be reversing the footage on a trick with a spoon to make it look like it's better than it actually is. Let's be honest, there's a lot of dishonest trailers out there, and there's a lot of bad magic products. Craig and Ryland promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. 
And from now on, they're going to start dealing with these tricks the way that they should be dealt with. They're going to put them in the bin. They're going to set them on fire. They're going to cut them into bits. They're going to smash them into a million pieces. And why are they going to do that? Because it's time for the magic community to take a stand. It is time for the magic community to send a message to magic producers around the world. We will not stand for shit magic products. We will not stand for crap magic products. We will not stand for some half-assed, half-baked, stupid idea that wouldn't fool a blind monkey that's released for one reason and one reason only to line the pockets of the creator who put it out, who, let's be honest, has probably never performed the trick in their entire life. They had a brain brain farts first thing in the morning, they've shot it on their iPhone and they've got it out the afternoon and it is absolutely, completely and totally on every single level. It stops. In 2022, Craig and Ryland are calling out this they're breaking tricks, they're smashing tricks. Be warned. If you watch the Craig and Ryland review show and they rant and rave about something and say it's amazing, then you can take it for the bank, it's really good. But if it's not good, then they're going to deal with it appropriately. Magic producers, you have been warned. Stop releasing bad magic products. The magic community will not accept it anymore. This doesn't even go in a bottom drawer. I, 200 quid, 200 pounds. I absolutely hate this piece of crap. I hate it. That's what it's worth. It's worthless. Ryland, go nuts. Cut that into as many little pieces as you want. Have hey, be careful with your fingers, though. I don't have this is a terrible trick. This trick should not have been bought out. We have spent almost £100 on three of these now that none of them have lasted more than 10 minutes. This is what this trick deserves. It deserves cutting up and putting in the bin. If you've got this trick, do the same. Cut it up, put it in a bin. Send a message to people that create magic like this that we will not accept shoddy, rubbish, naff gimmicks that fall apart within 10 minutes. We will not accept substandard tutorials that don't give any substance. We will not accept tricks that solve a problem that does not exist. This is solving a problem that does not exist. There are a million ways of doing this with basic sleight of hand. And adding a gimmick to it does not really add anything. Look, just get me the bin. Because that's where this goes. I don't mean to be disrespectful. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to have it. I've got two options here. Chuck it in the bin or put it in my bottom drawer where it will probably live there for about six months to a year and then when I clear it out because I'm hoarding stuff, I'll go, what's that? Oh, that's that trick, I'll put it in the bin. At some point it's going in the bin, so it may as well go in the bin right now. Like we just ripped it open to find out, yeah, I mean, just, it's cardboard. It's card, that's what we have here. Cardboard, that's what we have. This is cardboard. This is trash, this is rubbish. This is absolutely not working. This is not worth buying. Magic producers, stop bringing out terrible magic. Start bringing out stuff that magicians can be proud to perform. Right? Get in the bin. This, give me the, give me the thing. Where did you get a hammer from? This is, this is probably important. Gone. Let's have a look at this. What's this? This is a remote control. Probably important. That's probably broken now. What's this bit? Oh, these are the suckers. These are the bits that are broken. They know what the suckers are. The sucker is me for buying this absolute steaming pile of rubbish.